Mr. Kanan, this isn't an IndyCar race, but you're here trying to defend your first overall Rolex 24 win. Tell me about this early start to the year for you. Yeah, actually, it's a, it's a good thing for us. I mean, with uh, this long off season that we have in IndyCar, it's a chance that I get my arms a little bit, you know, moving and the rust out of it. You know, I think, uh, you know, having a test this early in the year, it, it's it's good for me. It's good for my preparation for the IndyCar season. And obviously, uh, with a very good team and a chance to defend uh, the win that we did here last year. So. All in all, I think uh, it's a win-win situation for me. So you know what it's like to go into a season as a defending IndyCar champion. You know what it's like to go into Indy as a defending Indy 500 winner. What's it like coming to Daytona as a defending winner? It's 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 different. I mean, obviously, it's not an environment that I hang out all year. So I see people. I know, obviously, the racing community extremely. It's extremely united and extremely small. You have some people that switch over years. I can, I can see some IndyCar mechanics working here, but it, I think it's different because, like I said, I haven't raced in IMSA for that long. Obviously, I'm very well known in the open wheel world, uh, but then coming back here as a as a defending champion, and a lot more people recognize you as far as teams that I haven't had contact over. You know, granted, I'm being around IndyCar for 19 years, so. Uh, People kind of know who you are too, and then know what you did, and uh, it, it is different. It's it's a little bit of a pressure for sure because I think, uh, you know, when you set a precedent like that, like we did last year, people are expecting us to uh, to win again. Um, we our team has grown a lot, as you guys know. We have 14 drivers, uh, four cars, but two GT cars and and, and two DP cars. So. Uh, Obviously, the focus was over the winter was more towards getting the, the Forge DT ready, but Chip wanted to do this to defend. So we have the cars. The cars are very well prepped, and uh, we're going to go for it. Okay, last question. Well, I don't want to say you're old or I'm old, but tell me about the first year you raced here and what you were in. That was pretty interesting times. Yeah, man, that was back in uh, 1997 with the Mustang. Uh, it was me, Mark Borkowski. Uh, a car sponsored by Dayton Tires, which is Firestone, because I was the reigning Indy Lights champion. And uh, it was amazing. You know, uh, obviously, we're not going for the overall win. Um, I remember Tom Gloy, which is a, a legend on the, on the IMSA side. And I remember his name and the cars and the tradition of his team. It was, uh, I remember Rejo actually was the partner on that team. Uh, Borkowski had won everything and I'm like so I come out and I remember that that I was kind of like it was a big eye-opener it was my second year in America I mean cars passing me left and right because that you know we're in the GT class the DP cars are fast and I remember actually uh, I kind of crashed the car in one of the sessions and Tom was uh, extremely mad but you wanted new parts on it yeah I mean the car needed a little, little uh, update uh, but actually, I ended up qualifying, and we finished six. So it was a it was a neat experience. It was my first 24-hour race that I've ever had done, and uh, so it was nice. I mean, I didn't know what I was in for, so uh, I think the me being clueless at the time it helped me a lot not to uh, to get antsy or or anything like that.